Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video from Tracy Bressler CPA. This is the sixth in our series of using the inventory feature in QuickBooks and we're going to look at using multiple units of measure in QuickBooks. Now this feature is not available in all versions of QuickBooks. If you're using QuickBooks Pro you will not have this ability. Even all the versions of Premier don't have it. Uh, the accountants version, the contractor version, and manufacturing and wholesale all do. Uh, those same industry uh, specific versions of QuickBooks Enterprise um, has units of measure or multiple units of measure I should say enabled. In addition also the nonprofit and professional services versions of QuickBooks Enterprise solutions has the multiple units of measure. So let's see how that works. Now we could enable this um, from the preferences menu but actually I'm just going to go right to the item list and I'm going to select our brass hinges inventory part type item and I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to choose edit from that pop-up menu there and right here in the middle of the screen you see there is a unit of measure section and there's a button there that says enable I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose multiple units of measure I want to be able to buy and sell this item in different units of measure so I click on that and then I click on next and I want to do this by count in other words I'm not going to buy them or sell them by weight or length or volume or any of those other options it's the number how many of each am I going to buy or sell so I will click on next what is the base unit of measure what's the smallest unit of measure that I'm going to use that is the each one single hinge is the smallest unit of measure I will use now I can create some uh, additional units of measure so I'm going to say um, I want to use case and that in a case of these brass hinges there are 25 or you know what let's say 24 okay so we can get we can buy a case of 24 let's say there is um, a box and in the box are two cases so that would be 48 and then we'll click on next now QuickBooks wants to know okay how do you normally purchase this item well we normally purchase it let's say we normally purchase it by the box now how do we normally sell it we normally sell it by the each so that's fine and uh, shipping if we had a different measure of shipping uh, you know we could use that but actually let's just let's just buy and sell these okay Uh, the name of the set count in each that's fine I'll just accept that and so now I have my unit of measure set up so for this item I can use the multiple unit of measure set count in each so I'll save my item and when I go to create a purchase order for brass hinges automatically the unit of measure that comes up is box and one box is 48 and so the price is going to be or I'm sorry the cost is going to be $148.80 I could change that and say you know at this time they're only going to sell me uh, one case in which case the cost is going to be $74.40 let's go ahead and leave that at a box and save and close that I have the same opportunity on an invoice so if I click on create invoices and pick a customer and for my item I want brass hinges then the default unit of measure is each now I could have set up you know dozen or or package or I could have set up any of number we just have the three each case and box let's say okay we want uh, actually to uh, change this to one case in which case if we were to sell this case of uh, brass hinges then 24 each would be deducted from inventory okay that's a very very simple uh, kind of preliminary view at what unit of measure will do for you um, I hope that answers a question or if you 
uh, find the unit of measure feature useful to you that uh, you can kind of take this information and get started. There's a lot you can do with that. It's um, not too difficult to follow, but that just kind of gives you the basic idea of how the unit of measure feature works in QuickBooks. I hope you find that useful. Uh, we have other QuickBooks training videos on the TracyCPA.com website. I hope you'll pay us a visit and take a look at those as well. Thank you.